someone that was fearless. Everybody's laughing at that because they know it's a joke, right? Tyson is. Have a good laugh. <laughs> Say some man with some pigtails in his hair. <laughs> How is everybody going to beat me, please? Tyson, is there, is, is there a man on the planet that you have either fought or not fought who you have been fearful of? Like I've said many, many times in the past, there isn't a man born from his mother that Tyson Fury is afraid of. And especially not a man who wears pigtails every day. Can you sit down for us? Definitely not. <laughs> Definitely not. I don't sit. It you like sit. Nervous. Like I said yesterday, you, you know to sit in the presence of greatness. Nervous. I don't sit. Have I don't sit. Sit. You sit and let the master of disaster talk. <laughs> so where were we? Am I fearful of Deontay, the bronze bummer wilder? No, I'm not. Definitely not. I don't fear nothing about him. I don't fear anything he can do. And I especially don't fear those glasses, or that beard, or those sweets he's awesome, eating. Awesome. He already awesome. knows he's lost a fight, he's even eating sweets to prove it. You got to know. To both of you, we'll start with Deontay. I get the feeling, having watched this, that you like each other. Do you like him? A little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Do you like him? I don't like him, I love him. I love the guy. But I just, I just want to rip them plats out of his hair for some reason. I don't know, I've been thinking about it for a couple of days. Just want to grab them and pull them out. How are you going to flip the switch? You love him, and you you know, I guess there's a fine line between love and hate. It's a fight. Um, we can do all this stuff on stage. I can walk around here and I can talk as good as any man in the country. But when it comes to the actual fight, it's going to be a hell of a fight. Deontay Wilder, massive puncher, me, skillful boxer. Um, it's going to be an epic night, you know. Like he said before, this is a legacy fight. And I do believe that's true. And after I beat him, I'm going to get him to hire me as his publicist. Because I do believe I'll promote Deontay Wilder back to being everywhere champion of the world in no time. But it's no shame in losing to me, because I am the greatest boxer of my generation. And I can't be beat. Especially not by him, no disrespect to him, but him, another three men or 50 others like him could never beat the Gypsy King. There's been many, many fighters before like Deontay Wilder, but there's never ever been a Tyson Fury before in the history of boxing. I you know that because I've studied the game inside out. I know there's never been a Tyson Fury before, ever, or anyone even remotely close. What do you respect about him? You know, what I respect about Tyson Fury is, you know, he's, he, you know, he's, he's great for the, for the heavyweight division, you know, he's he charismatic. He can talk, as you can see, I got a great dancing partner. Like I said, you know, he feels this in the ring. He got a background of boxing in his blood, you know. He's named after Mike Tyson, you know. Uh, you know, it, all that is great, you know. Um, it's good that he's from another country. He's not of the same country. So you get to see different cultures, different personalities from the two. You got one from America and you got one from Great Britain. So uh, that even more going to make it more pleasurable for me to be able to, when I knock him out, you know. All this adds up, you know. Uh, this is exciting for me, and I can't wait. So I'm telling him, welcome to a, to a L.A. It seemed like he did, I already visited one of the dispensaries because he don't understand <laughs> <laughs> what I'm saying when I'm going to knock him out. You probably never fought anybody taller than you. What type of a problem might that present? Yeah, I don't have one. I think um, uh, uh, me, in my career, I fought a guy named, by the name of Kevin Price. Um, he was... He was taller than I, arms longer than I, and uh, we already know what happened in that fight. Hey, y'all already know what I do. You know what I come to do, and you know what I'm gonna come to do come December 1st. When y'all come to see fights, y'all come to see somebody get knocked out. You ain't come to see 12 round fights. I know you come to see a little skills, but you come to see this man body on the, on the canvas, and uh, that's what I'm gonna deliver for you come de December 1st. Would you have given Deontay Wilder, the opportunity, had you not had the problems that you had and still had the belt, would you have taken him on as the other champion? He's given you an opportunity. Would you have presented it the other Excuse way around? Me. I'm giving him an opportunity to fight the Gypsy King. If you were the champion... Uh, uh, hold on a minute, sir. I am the champion. You're talking to the lineal heavyweight champion going back to the right. days of John L. Sullivan. I'm the man who beat the man, me. But he has a belt. belt. But I have a belt on too, look. I've got one <laughs> The claim to the Pretty throne nice. goes back all the way, all them years. I like the I'm giving him the opportunity. 
to become something. Not that it ever will. I hear all this knockout talk. I hear it loud and clear, but I just don't believe it. There's nothing in his body structure or persona or aura that tells me he's going to lock me out. Every man stepped in the ring had to go and you don't believe? I don't believe at all. All I see is a sop sat down right next to me. He's got, I just, I don't see, I just don't see anything about him that says he's going to knock me out. He's got little spaghetti legs. He's skinny. He's Please ugly. He smells. How is he going to beat me? <laughs> I don't know what he's going to beat me with. Hey, Frank, Frank, let's ask Frank more of a question. Someone Frank. Tall than Calvin Price. Calvin Price was I, got, I got one question for you. Go on. When I lay your body on the canvas, which foot you want me to step over you with? The left foot? I'd, like, I'd like you to pick me back up and kiss me back to the right. Which one? So I, know I just told right. you so I can follow correctly. Pick me back up and give me the kiss of life. All right, guys. That's what I want you to do. He does it. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, he's a dreamer. Only in dreams does Deontay Wilder ever knock Tyson Fury out. Only in his dreams. Frank, give us a historical perspective. You have promoted we know he got a tremendous a amount. Comedian now that I knock him out. You've promoted a tremendous amount of fights, and, and you've seen, particularly on the other side of the pond over in Europe, uh, great fighters. Where, where do you stack this one up? I think uh, Tyson is one of the best. He's certainly one of the most colourful heavyweights that's ever come out of Britain. I, I sincerely believe that. His skills are sublime. He, did, he does the impossible according to what the critics feel. You know, he went over to Germany, he took Klitschko to score. A good Klitschko, not a guy who fought Joshua 18 months later. He fought the guy and, as he said, he's the linear champion. He loves a challenge. He's a traveler. That's why he's coming to Deontay's backyard. He's coming to the States. He's fighting one of the most explosive heavyweights in recent years, a guy who can punch, who's got a lot of self-belief. And I think Styles, as they say, make fights. And everybody's got it in their head what they think this fight's going to be, that Tyson's going to be running and Deontay's going to be coming after him. I don't think that's going to happen. I think on the night you're going to see Tyson stand his ground and you're going to see some serious fireworks take place. This is a great fight. It's a fight for the fans. It's great to be here in LA to do this fight. It's great that we're in America to bring another Brit over here to take up this belt back. And I really do believe he will take back the belts that he's never ever lost in the ring. He's the lineal champion. And this is it. This is what it's all about. This is the best fighting the best. The two guys, two top heavyweights in the world who have stepped up to the plate and made the fight like that. It took a week, two weeks for us to get it over the line and done because they both want it. They want to see who the number one is. And we'll find out on the first of these seven. Show it. Deontay Wilder. I chose Deontay Wilder as an easy victim. As an easy victim. Unbelievable. This is going to be the easiest fight of my career. I said that Vladimir Klitschko would be the easiest fight of my career. And he was. And I'm going to say that this guy is going to be my easiest fight. And I predict he will. He goes on about he's beat this person and beat that person. I've seen him knocked out before. Spark out by a little fat fella that big. Out in the amateurs. He boxed America versus Russia, and the little Russian fella cleaned him out. Bam! The bomb squad, the bomb squad was on his back. Like a dead fly, he was on his back. Legs and arms in the air, stacked out. There ain't no videos around the world of Tyson Fury ever getting knocked out. So he might be able to punch, but I know he's got a glass chin. All big punches can't take one back. So let's see, let's see if he can really do the talking when he wants to fight in a proper end. He's just gonna knock you out. It's all right if I fight it's your inner head. It's all right if I fight bums you big brother. You should sit down because you're When you fight a real man, you know to sit down. For one, you got blue on, you got red on, and you got another color of shirt. Struggling to talk. This guy's supposed to be charismatic. I come here expecting a challenge. Is three nil, three nil all day. Deontay. You big dosser. Look at him. Look at the state of this man. How does he expect to be a proper heavyweight champion of the world? Skinny little ankles. Tiny little biscuit hands, an ugly face, a girl's hairstyle. I don't know, I don't know what he's doing, but he might be able to move, but that ain't boxing, is it? And afterwards, I'm sure I'm going to get him a job working in an LA strip club, no problem. He's got the moves, he 
be grinding up home the because grinding. after this he'll never get another payday. Are you auditioning for a show or are you getting ready for a He's nervous. He's nervous. He's nervous. <laughs> this is fear. This is what you. This is what fear looks like. Hey, if this is I what the you was the fearless, man. Why you? Why you? Why you so? I look at you, I don't see it. What have I got to hear you about? Them glasses you've got. two months. You got no, two I, don't, months I don't need two months. I need, I'm ready to, to go now. You feel like the real thing I'm right ready now. now. You feel I'm like ready. the real thing right look, now. Look, 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 look. You feel like I the real thing ready. right now. Hey. Ready. I'm ready too. Well, let's go then. We let's pull the fight forward to this weekend, you bitch. You lost This weekend, Joseph. This weekend. I tell you Sit what, down. you're not you're such a man who looks, he thinks he looks so you're much. You're wasting He's too much energy. energy. Keep that energy. Brush your teeth. Keep that energy. Brush your teeth. You're going to need it. Them nuts. You're going to need it. Why are you guys going to do this when there's about 40 people here and there'll be millions watching? Everything he's saying. 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 Everything he's I got a lot of questions. Are you going to stay in the chair? 
Look at him, he's arguing with his own team now. He can't control his own entourage. There can only be one champion of one day, and his name is Tyson Fury. Deontay and Tyson will be available for one-on-ones. We're going to get started.